In today's lesson, you'll be learning how to create this animation. Select the text tool and type in the text, which is 2, and scale it up and change the color to white and reposition it in the composition. Select the pen tool and draw a shape, something like this. If you don't know how to draw this, I've already made a tutorial on that. You can watch this video. Now that you have the shape, go up to Layer, Transform, and Center, Anchor Point in Layer. Also, select the Pen Behind tool and move it to the bottom of the shape like this. Hit S on the keyboard and scale down this shape like this. Hit P on the keyboard, hold down Shift and hit R and S. Set keyframes for all this and move the play hat to maybe one second and move the shape somewhere here. Grab this little handle and make a curve like this so that you have a smoother animation. Now that you have the animation ready, let's animate the rotation so that the shape follows along the path of the animation. So let's tweak this rotation so that it follows the path like this. You can just adjust the rotation like this and the keyframes will be recorded for you there. All right, let's move on animating the scale. Let's move this first keyframe somewhere here. Go back to the first frame and set this scale to zero. So it starts from zero and it goes there. Also set a keyframe somewhere here and go to the last and set it to zero again. All right, select the text layer, grab the pen tool and draw a mask like this. Go to the effects and presets and type in stroke and drag and drop that stroke to the text layer and select this to reveal original and increase the brush size until the original text is revealed. All right, we're going to animate it using this end values from 0 to 100 and right about here, set a keyframe for the end and go few frames ahead and set it to 100 and if you hit U and reveal the keyframes, you see that animation. Select both the keyframes, hit F9 for easy ease, go to the graph editor and you can play with this graph. Going back to the shape layer, collapse this content and go inside the shape and path and we're gonna close this path at the end of this animation. So the keyframe there, go a few frames ahead and close this path out. But let's move on to the next animation, which is a zero. So to do that, select both these layers, control D to duplicate, move it to the top and select this layer and move it to the side and hit M on the keyboard to bring up the mask. And we're going to delete the mask for now and disable the stroked effect and change the text to zero select a pen tool and draw a mask around this so make sure you select the text layer or else it will create a shape so select this and draw a mask around it all right once you're done drawing the mask enable the stroke once again and change the path to mask one and it will be there for you all right let's center the anchor point select the text and go to layer and transform and center anchor point move these two layers so that it will reveal after the first text select the shape layer and modify the start and end point for this animation like this and you can always refine this path using these handles like what I'm doing here. Once you're done with that, select the layer and hit U and remove this keyframe for the rotation. And you have to re-adjust the rotation. Set a keyframe and adjust this rotation. Make sure it follows along the path like this. The text layer hit R on the keyboard and set a keyframe for the rotation from 0 to 180 degrees so that it rotates 
like this. Also select all the keyframes and easy ease it by hitting F9 on the keyboard. Alright, once you're done with that, you just have to repeat the same process. You just have to duplicate the layers and refine the path and make changes and keep some variation in the path animation like what I showed you before. Alright, once you're done with the path animation, go to the effects and presets and type rough and edges and drag and drop it on the text layer like this so that you have some rough and edges going on there. Also, I added a turbulent displace, so add this turbulent displace and adjust this amount, reduce it, and you just have to animate the evolution. Hold down Alt on the keyboard and click on this evolution and you can just type in time, star, and values. The higher the values, the higher the animation. Select all these three effects, copy it, Control c to copy, and select all the text layers and paste it there. Control V to paste it. Select the first text and copy the rough and edges and paste it on the shape layers. Control V to paste it. Without selecting any layers, select this ellipse tool and draw an ellipse here in the middle of zero. Go to layer, transform, and center anchor point. Hit S on the keyboard and animate the scale from 0 to 100 like this and select all the keyframes F9 to easy ease. Copy the effects from the text layers and paste it on the shape layer. Add another text somewhere here, go to the effects and presets and drop a text preset. You can also copy the effects from the text layers and paste it on this text layer. Also decrease the border size of the rough and edges because we have a smaller text. Select this shape layer 1, Control D to duplicate, move it to the top and you can change the start and end point and shift it over where you have the smaller text reveal. Alright, select the background image, drag and drop it to the bottom like this, scale it down and animate the scale of this and lower the opacity of the background. Alright, that's all I have for this time guys. I hope you like this video. Make sure to check out these two videos as well. This is Motion Designer and I will see you in my next video.